Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Welcome everyone to the Sloppy Joes podcast! Yay! Yay! Tuesday's here and I'm having a great time! Or a midlife crisis. Who's having a midlife crisis? Have you ever had one? I'm not midlife. Well, I might be Ooh, with the illness, but I hope I'm not midlife. Yeah. You're nearly 30 years old. Yeah, drifting towards. Are you towards. excited? I'm so excited. This is the last podcast before I turn 30. Is it? Yep. Wow. My birthday is the 24th of July. What do you want for Actually, it? Actually, my birthday two more. Uh, what do I want for it? Just you to be near me and for us to go for a nice meal in New York That together. will be the case. We will be near each other. Won't we, Ethan James, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, yes. Uh, hello. Um, who who are we going to be near to, sorry? Each other! Oh, well, that's lovely. I, I like being here. Ethan, we're going to America as a uh, Sloppy Joe's unit. Uh, Sloppy Joe's podcast at Gmail. That's the email. Patreon! Oof. That's the one I wanted, Joe, wasn't it? Well Patreon.com forward slash Sloppy Joe's podcast. Yeah. Because we are doing exclusive content on there of our days in America. Yeah. Are you going to survive? Um, yes, I hope so. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit um, apprehensive about the trip, but I'm sure it'll be a blast. Are you going to look after him? Yeah, well, he's only looking after him. He's only America. You know, you're, you're, you're from America. I'm and not. If you, you've got a passport that says you are. No, it doesn't say I am. It's ever a citizen, yeah. Yeah, but it's not the same thing. Well, no. To be, f- if you're from somewhere, you were born there or you've lived there. So say someone that. tries to kidnap Ethan. Yeah. What are you gonna do to stop him? I'll jump in front of the bullet. Oof. Well, and if really. they're not, and if they're not shooting him because you said kidnap and not shoot, now I think about it, um, I'll jump in front of their um, Hessian bag that they were gonna put over his head from behind him without him knowing about it. How much as a podcast would we pay to get Ethan back? That's a really good question. Me personally. I would put none of my own money towards getting him back, but I would happily set up a GoFundMe so our audience could pay for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ethan, how much do you think your uh, your sort of uh, kidnappers your would, ransom would would be? Um, probably um, my financial worth. So maybe like yeah, well, maybe 50 maybe a couple of grand. Yeah, a couple of grand. I think they could shave him up all nice and get yeah. a bit more for him. That's a good patron push, isn't it? Let's get. Let's get Patreon numbers up. Let's so get Ethan home. Release Ethan from uh, some, somewhere. Yeah. Um, uh, so uh, we've had a lovely weekend together. Oh, have you've uh, really you've we went out for lunch the, oh, the other day and what a lunch it was like since that's happened you've fallen in love with us again. It it's was like, great it fun though, wasn't it, Ethan? Oh yes, I had a lovely time and a lovely ice cream. Yeah, I had a lovely I time actually because I lost a bet with you about the pound world. You bought, right, let's just break it down. Actually, I think we should start let's with start Ethan from the because beginning. Ethan the night before, oh, yeah, let's chronologically, see chronologically, Friday night, Ethan has a big night. Yeah, he was very fragile when we saw him on the Ooh. Saturday. But fact, why, We both got quite Ethan? alarming texts, didn't we? I thought he was worried because he went, I got a text saying, Joe, new text, yeah. Joe, new text, are you awake? Yeah. And at one in the morning, I'm a bit worried because there was no humour there. There was no got a mint story to tell you. I thought, right, yeah, this is this is worrying. Yeah. What did you get? You got the same text. I got the same text, but I woke up to it because I was asleep. Did you text him back? Yeah. What did you? No. You well, t- he texted me, but he gave it more context. He said something amazing has just happened. Oh, right, and then he okay. texted me again, like 20 minutes later, saying. In fact, I'll save it for the podcast. Okay, right, and here we are, Ethan James. Oh, yes, um, so apologies for those alarming messages. It was due to um, the alcohol was affecting my ability to make uh, perfect decisions, as you'll soon find out. So on Friday, I went to a concert by myself. Isn't Lovely. that interesting? Wow, that's uh, is, nice. it, is it planned or did someone drop out? So I was going to go with a couple of the lads, but... Um, they, they couldn't make it in, in, in the end, but uh, they didn't actually get to the point of purchasing the ticket, but it was my favourite band, Bastille, you nice. see. So I thought I'd still go anywhere, you see. Bastille. Bastille. Great like, favourite hey, band. Hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, hey, ho. That one, did they do that one? Yeah. Well, that's the one. That's probably their main one, actually, Joe. Um, yeah. They're big Portsmouth fans, aren't they? Um, I don't know anything about that. Why is the song called Pompey, then? I think it's about the Italian um, city Pompeii, I think. Ah. I thought the, I thought the lead singer was, you know, Mr. Pompey? That yeah. big fat like, <laughs> covered in tattoos. Is, is he not the lead singer? Is he the drummer? No, no, oh, no. no. The, the lead singer is a man called Dan Smith, who is a very gifted singer. I really 
enjoy it's his quite music. Quite a sexy man, isn't he, Dan Smith? Yeah. Oh yes. He. Is that what draw? You, is that what drew you into the uh, yeah. the Bastille fan base? Is this story going to be that you had sex with him? Because that's what you just made it seem like. Oh no! It, it, this is more just the tale of my great adventure by myself, Drew. Because I really like the band Bastille at the Castlefield Ball, a venue I've never been to before. So I left work, few pints. I had about three pints in about fifty minutes, which is Ooh, quite that's impressive. That's a good record. That's that's a so you were on your way to being pissed. Oh yeah, so fifty minutes. I'm feeling pissed there, just on yeah. the speed of it all. Oh. Lovely stuff. Well, I was thinking, um, so I get a bit of beer down because I, I probably need to get a little bit chatty with some mm. like people who were there because I want to make some friends. Yeah. So as I arrived, um, I'm, I, I found myself down the centre, wiggled my way in, yeah. and I found oh. um, a, a lovely couple there. And um, I can't remember the names, yes, but that's how nice they were. Yes. Hope they're watching now. Uh, well, hello, I, I, can't remember your names. Hello, anonymous losers. Yeah. No, oh, no, sorry, no. no. I've got the wrong way around. So, hello, I can't remember, and your names. Your names. The two people. Well, they were, they were a lovely couple. They were like maybe um, late 40s, early 50s. Oof, it'd be awful now if they were mid 30s and Ethan's just sort of slandered them with that age bracket. Luckily, awful. can't remember the names, so they'll never notice then. They're nearly dead soon anyway, aren't they? Oh, no, 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 not early at 50s. all. Quite the opposite. Buzzing with life. Brilliant. So lively. They were telling me that they go to all these festivals and things and um, the, 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 his missus for his 40th, whenever it was, uh, done that a would holiday. That would have helped with the age. <laughs> done a holiday in Ibiza. Um, oh, really? Yeah. And, like, like she, she loves going to the music, the raves, the parties, the and and the first saw this band Bastion and Leeds, which is what made them want to come back and see them again. You see, right? Great. What I'm a glad we've got these time. anonymous people's life story. Yeah. Tell us the good bits. Oh well, it was good because that was that was a real highlight for me. And then at the end of the the show. The stewards started telling everyone to leave. It the was steward. time to go. No, the stewards, sorry, not Stuart. The stewards were telling everyone it's time to leave. So everyone makes way. And some people hang around the stage hoping to meet the band, you see. Mm. Uh, but um, Fat chance. Nah, fat chance. The Have stewards it? are saying, it's time to go home. So oh, rap name. Um, to you. Well, to me and to uh, others. And I thought, sounds like a dick. Usually I wouldn't stick around, That's but I was it. thinking, since I'm by myself, I've got a bit of time, so maybe I, was, I, I would be. And then I saw this group gather in the middle. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like a, uh, what are they doing? Like a, causing a scene? Well, they were just... just stop oil? It wasn't just... Just stop just... oil? <laughs> <laughs> was it? It wasn't that. Uh, Pompeii was an actual disaster. And if no, we they don't stop soon, we'll get another Well, Pompeii. imagine Pompeii now. If that volcano went off, it'd just be a load of plastic bottles go up in there, wouldn't it? Mm, and all, that's all, the, all that's the real that's the real hell. So everyone started gathering together, you see. And I, I thought I'd just go join in the gathering. Yeah. And then a steward says to them, right, everyone here, everyone here, those with backstage wristbands, come follow me, please. Oh, wow. And go. I was thinking... Ethan's got a decision to make. Exactly. Yes! How many beers have you had now? Uh, what, what level are you? Well, I've, I've had about, I'd say, six pints. Oh, he's, he's Ooh. nice, he's nice. Yeah. And, 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 and he's only we. He's only we. He's only we. So that's like you having what? 13. It's like dog years, it's time seven, I think. So that's like you having 30 pints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Oof, God. And the rest. And the rest. Correct. And I, I was feeling confident, you see. So I followed them along and everyone else had wristbands on. I was thinking, ah, oh, fuck. Stewards are there looking at everyone's wristbands. Mm. And I see the drummer from the band, Woody, come to the door. Woody? And I know his name because I quite like the band. I thought, go on, be cocky. So I run over, high five. Woody, great to see you again. How again, you again, 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 again. again. Yeah. Yeah. What a tight tick. Have you ever started an email thread with someone and put re at the start? To make them think they'd emailed you already. Really? That's and it gets them gripped. Great gaslighting in a way. Oh, big time. But that's what Ethan's done there. He's gone, great to see you again. The bouncer here's again. He goes, he's meant to be here. He's a regular. Let him Brilliant. through. Absolutely. Amazing. Because it was all um, like friends and family of, of the band and the support band. So Woody goes, ah, oh, lovely to see you, lovely to see you. Come on in, mate. And I'm in. <gasps> I'm in backstage with my favourite band in the world. Wow. Who's that? Oh, uh, Bastille. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, they there. Wow. They were there. In the backstage. Yes. What is it like? So I, I, I take myself a seat and I sit next to you what see? was what was the support act uh, prior. And then I'm chatting to him and then he goes, you don't have a wristband, do you, mate? And I go, oh, Look no. fucking square. I, well, it, was a support act. Aren't musicians meant to be cool? You're sat there and he's going, 
You haven't got a wristband, have you, mate? You just batter him. To knock him out. Hit him with your wristband, free wrist. He's going a thousand miles an hour because he's not weighed but down by a wristband. Knock the fucker out. So I tried to be super friendly, see, and I went, oh, no, I, I, know, I, I, I just saw an opportunity, so I came in, to be honest. I went, let me get all your mates some chairs. So I grabbed them some, I'm trying to be super so friendly, so they're on my side. at this point. Yes, exactly. Yeah, um, way in. So have a little sit down, having a chat with them and things. Um, and then overcomes Dan, the, the lead singer of the band, who I, who I love, you see. Oh. And um, he comes over, he's having a little chat so with the support. Dan, for you, would be the equivalent of like a sort of a real magician, uh, musician, so for other people. Yes, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, well, exactly. So he was, he was he's really big. I, 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 I kept my calm and it was very cool. And I just wanted to let, hear him what he was saying. And I thought I'd, I'd work myself a little chat with him. Oh. So. Off I was this. talking about the, the really day, nice. the music, the how I've seen them before. And I, I thought, you know what, I'm going to ask the question, you see. I'm going right. to ask the question. No, no, sorry. Did you join the band? I asked him for a photo. Oh. And he was, now? he was the loveliest man in the world. Said, on. Let me take the photo for you. I'll put it in now. I'll put can it I in see now it, so you can see Hold it. To your camera. Oh, I've seen it. I've, I you will. have. Yep, you, uh, you okay. can see it now on the screen. Let's see. Wow. Uh, no, you can you can see it now. Oh, yeah, I love that. Ethan's wow. topless. Post, yeah. Two cans of Fosters. No, no, two no. cans of Fosters. Loving life. So was that the best night of your life? And then I got a sham drink of champagne with him as well. <laughs> <laughs> that is, was the snacks. Oh, I didn't I didn't push it that far, Joe. Yeah, I also he's, had not, a he's not a cheeky bastard, is he? Oh, I didn't want it to be cheeky. You know. I also had a <laughs> photo with the keyboard cheeky. player. I love Unbelievable. This. So you what think this brilliant. is the new you now, sneaking into Sorry, places? Sorry, that's... That is the pinnacle. Great story. That's amazing. Yeah. What a night. Thank you. Uh, yeah, one of the best nights I've, I've, I've ever had. And off I went when I, I, I'd give it 20 minutes because I didn't want to take too much uh, of the piss, as they say. And um, <laughs> I, I walked out through the door and the steward said to us, do you work here, mate? We realised no wristband. I went, I've just popped the wristband in the bin. He went, should probably have kept it on. I went, but I'm all done now. And he went, ah. out you go, son. Ah, oh, but I won't be coming back. Story. That's beautiful, that. Yeah, yeah. your face is going to be everywhere, by the way, Ethan. Yeah. Yeah, keep an eye on Have you this seen this man? Scumbag. Yeah. It's not allowing him to any more gigs. Never allowed anywhere again. Ooh, I want to set the story on podcast. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, that's a good thing. At least you didn't tell, you know, thousands of people what you've just done. Yes. Great uh, do you think Dan will come on the show? If we ask him, Bastille boy? Oh, I'm sure he would. What a lovely conversation. What about, what would you ask him about? Oh, I'd just ask him about why he's just so brilliant. Yeah. What do you think his answer would be? <laughs> He'd say, we'd probably say, I'm not. <laughs> if he's not a liar. So, Sloppers, our sponsor is Wingfest 2023. I'm going to be at every single one of the remaining ones. The Sloppers, Ethan and Joe, will be at the Manchester one. But we need you and as many of the Slopper Army to come down to the three, there is four remaining ones, but one of them is sold out completely. London is completely sold out at the end of, end of July. There is three remaining ones that we need to see as many as the Slopper Army down there. Manchester is the hometown one. Come on. It is August the 12th, which is a Saturday, and August the 13th, which is a Sunday, obviously. That is when me, Ethan and Joe will be tearing up the Wingfest scene. So make sure you grab your tickets for it. It is a brilliant occasion. The biggest food festivals, or one of the biggest food festivals in the world. Chicken wings, chicken wings, chicken wings. If you're not in Manchester, there is a Birmingham one at the Bond in Digbeth. That is Friday the 25th of August, all bank holiday weekend. So the 26th and the 27th. Then finishing off in one of my favourite locations, it is Bristol from Friday the 8th of September to the 9th to the 10th. Tickets can be found at wingfest.co.uk forward slash tickets. Come and eat some food with us. Come and drink some beer. Come and dance to some tunes. Come and be sloppy at Wingfest. Is that, can I say sloppy at Wingfest, yeah? We're gonna go with it. Buffalo sauce everywhere. Enjoy the rest of the episode. So then Saturday is the big day. Yeah. We're gonna plan New York together. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go out for some food. Yeah. And essentially here's what happens. I pick Ethan up. Yeah. I go meet you. Yeah. We're there, loving life, yeah. at the Stockport train station, <laughs> and we go to Mekong Cat. A Vietnamese place. What place? Oh, I booked us a table, got on the blower dinner. Excuse me, big, big important meeting happening. Sloppy Joe's, yeah, 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 table for three, thank you. We were very VIPs, although the restaurant was empty. Uh, we got in, yeah. next thing you know, 
We've thrown the menus. Yeah. We're ready for starters. It's pretty much a standard setup at this stage, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If anything, I don't know where the story's going now. No, well, that's the next I point. Just talk to Ethan's so hungover. Oh. Ethan didn't know what he wanted. Ethan just saw a plate full of something in the distance and just went, I gave that. There was a point where you gave Ethan a bit of your food and the tremors that he had. Yeah, well, I made the mistake of, of handing a man with post drink tremors um, a broth in a big spoon. Yeah. And it was it was like watching something from Total Wipeout, wasn't it? It looked like some sort of challenge. Do you always get that, Ethan? Oh, yeah, it was a bit Parkinson's-y, wasn't it, sadly? Didn't you tell us, actually? He said that, that he... Someone asked him to go to America and he's had a tremor ever since. He got so stressed, he's, he's, he's shaken ever since. Is that true, Ethan? Um, yes, that, <laughs> I that is true. That. I can't go over that. <laughs> go on, Ethan, tell us about that. What smoke show? Because I've never, I think he said a bit Parkinson's y. I think that's what he's struggling with. But we'll move on. Uh, I've never known anyone get so nervous that they shook for three years. Have you? Um, well, it's, it, just, it just triggered something in my head, Fuck apparently. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, that's what the doctor said. Maybe something. He said he's not 100% anything's popped or whatever, but something might have gone a little bit. So it all uh, happens a lot with Parkinson's, yeah. So it happened to my gran. She's gone a big trip to Blackpool. She's not been right since. <laughs> so, is it? Yeah. If you have some, if you have some real high admin, yeah. that yeah, can yeah, just yeah. trigger the old park out. Just switches. Right, so then the food comes. We're loving it. Delicious. There's four. No, here's what we love. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. is four pots and oh, five sauces on I the love, table. I love a side Hoy sauce. Si. I love a dip. Soy fish sauce sriracha. Four pots. The four pots are chili and peanut oil. Four pots. What, no, no. Four pots the wasn't there. Left. Pickled garlic. Oof, that was a bit rough. That no, one. that was incredible. Dried garlic crispies. Oof, that I tasted them all night. Absolutely amazing. We thought they were peanuts at first. Yeah, Oof, I put on way. so many teaspoons of the chilli because the chilli wasn't that spicy, but no, it was so it was flavoursome. The broth. I had three different types of beef in there. Yeah, it oh was incredible. Uh, Such let's a just nice say, meal for the patrons. New York is looking quality. Yeah. We're going to be hitting up some lovely food spots. We're going to be just filming us out and about. It's mainly going to be like a vlog, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to capture our life. Yeah. I've got a new phone for it, Joe. You've got a new phone and everything. Just so we can just film as much as we can. Yeah, so if make sure he gets arrested, we'll film it. He's going to get arrested. Make sure you join the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Sloppy Joe's podcast. But then after that, we went to have some ice cream. Yeah. And you bet, I said to you, I'm just going to nip into Poundland because I need to get some milk and some disinfectant. Who goes to Poundland for Well, we, but we, we established there wasn't any better options in Stockport. So you said to me, I bet you, for some reason you said, I bet you a fiver on sweets for Ethan, which I thought right, immediately, already, even if I win this bet, I don't get anything out of it. We walked past the sweet shop, Ethan was like, oh, look at those sweets. And yeah. Oliver Twist, and I thought, right, I'll have yeah. a little friendly bet with Joe. Yeah. Lose has to buy Ethan some gifts. So I went in there and I bought some disinfectant and some milk, because obviously they have both in Poundland. Uh, you Both lost, milk. and Ethan went, oh, Joe, can I trade in that five pounds worth of sweets C for some sorbet instead? Can I be completely honest? I was so out of it still. I didn't notice this bet happened. I just saw the ice cream, really liked the ice cream, you and then Joe no notified me of the bet. I had no idea this occurred. You got, uh, you got on quite well with the ice cream lady, didn't you? Oh, she was fantastic, wasn't she? She yeah. gave me and you an extra scoop for free, and she said, I tell you what, I've never done that before. Really? Yeah, she just yeah. instinctively had to, like, the way he said that was like, her body just did it without yeah. her even knowing. No, it wasn't she sort was of like so a She was so charmed thing. by it you both. A, it was just a sort of, she, she must have known we were ne in need of ice cream. Yeah. Um, and then, after the ice cream, finally on this uh, a great day out, apart from the fact that there was a, 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 a bomb in Stockport, but the... Yeah, it was a controlled explosion. It blew up. Let's forget about that. You took us to... <laughs> A coffee shop, which had amazing coffee. It didn't, Ethan. Oh, I didn't quite understand it, Joe. Well, you ordered the worst coffee I have ever had. Right. Come on, yeah, you, you tell it from your angle, and I'll I tell want the it. truth. I say to Joe, Joe's the coffee boy, isn't he in the relationship, Ethan? Yeah, oh, I've yes. Worked, I've worked in coffee shops. I said I want a little bit of this. I don't want something massive, but I want something to give me a perk, like something to boost me a little bit. But, you know, don't knock me out of a latte. <laughs> right? He Don't comes back with a with Ethan, It was like a coffee for the borrowers. It was the <clears> smallest <throat> coffee I have ever seen. Oh, yes. It reminded me of what you'd call an espresso. No, you wouldn't call it that. And I didn't it. want one. Explain yourself. Uh, you first bastard. of all, and this is a fair enough thing, it's espresso, not espresso, but that's okay. And second of all, you're missing second. out a very, very crucial part of this where you asked for a macchiato. 
you this whole like oh I'm Kate Moss I want something that picks me up and fucks me up or whatever she said for for an espresso martini you didn't describe the drink to me you said can I have a macchiato please so I just repeated the word you said to me you can't blame me for the fact that you don't know what a macchiato is you've got when to you said, do you know it. how small this coffee is you've been going on walking up the hill going oh I just want something small I don't want a big latte it's going to put me out for the night I'll just have a macchiato and I went that maths adds up Smaller than a latte, a macchiato is, is that. So I've ordered two macchiatos and you get it and blame me Awful. for the fact that it's a bit of espresso with some milk in it. Awful. Some frothy milk. You're a frothy milk. You're, how I'm are you not, mad I'm at not, me I'm in all this? Order coffee again. How are you mad at me in all this? Because well, I Because am. what did I do? Ordered the thing you asked for. I didn't know I wanted that. That's a I didn't no. That's a bizarre thing to say. That's what that was. I'll have a chicken Kiev, please. Where are my fish fingers? You don't ask for fish I'd, fingers. I'd be so happy with a chicken Kiev. Well, you should have you should have asked for shouldn't have asked for a macchiato, should you? If that's if you didn't want it. Do they do chicken caps? No, they don't. I'm saying they're two breaded goods. But just because you've asked for one when you wanted the other doesn't mean that the waiter's wrong for giving you the thing you asked for. You think to yourself, the savoury coffee boys haven't made the most of their uh, you know flavours. Savoury coffee. Imagine if you had a chicken caf coffee, just the juices. Oh, that's oh. like that's like I think a soup, isn't it? Are you worried about losing your hair? You won't be surprised to find out that one in five men start losing their hair in their 20s. That is where Sons comes in. Sons are a men's healthcare brand that offer clinically proven licensed hair loss treatments for less than a cup of coffee per day. They've treated over 50,000 customers and their treatments deliver results in nine out of 10 men. I've signed up for a 12-week program mm -hmm. and I can tell you, it's very easy. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is take their one-minute online consultation and Sons will tailor a subscription treatment plan specifically, specifically for your needs. This is Although, maybe not for your well, needs. Well, this is very exciting because mm -hmm. I'm looking out for you and you need <laughs> this treatment. So go to sons.co.uk and use the code JOE40 to get 40% off <gasps> your treatment. That is mad, isn't it? That is a 40%. lot. 40%. And that adds up to 80 quid off a six month treatment. It's a lot of money. I'm going to give it a go and you'll hopefully see some progression here in yeah. my head. There are no contracts or hidden charges uh, and it all can be delivered straight to your door yes. as easy as that. I could be looking like Joe Smith in 12 weeks time. And so could you. Go to sons.co.uk and use the code Joe Foy. The link is in the description. It's the 9 out of 10 club. Yes. Uh, we've been doing this for a while now and we uh, are still inundated with amazing offers. But we're going to yeah. take a pause on our uh, burger wars. Yeah. Because a lot of people are saying, hey, don't miss me out. Yeah, what about I've those? got a suggestion. Yeah. And the suggestion comes from a lady called Leanne Hellstrip. I think I'm saying that right. Oof. Uh, You've done a few of those in your time, haven't you? Hellstrip. <laughs> And Ben Hansen, who is, I think, maybe a lover. Pardon? A brother. Well, she's CC'd in another email, which is weird, isn't it? Really? Imagine emailing a podcast and CC'ing someone I've, else. In. I've never considered this podcast to be of any sort of standing enough to, to, to need a CC. I don't think we've ever CC'd before. It is a lover. It is a lover. CC my playmate. Hey, Joe, Joe, and Ethan. Couple of 9 out of 10 clubs for you. We're going to focus on one. Cool. McDonald's oh. Chicken Selects. Oh, they've been Mitch. mentioned before. Yes, the select boys and girls have been mentioned before. The select so committee. P.S. We love the podcast and we watch them on repeat. Thanks for all the laughs. Right. I, I've read a part of this email that spooked me a little bit. Make sure you get this. <laughs> make sure you get the sour cream and chive dip. You joking? Well, I hadn't done that, have I? Because I didn't know. You got a. It wasn't vital. It's vital, but also the nano. Oh, I mean, there is a there is a part a part where it says make sure. No, no, no. Uh, but the one and only, and only sour. Oh, right. So no, no. The sour. The 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 dip. Ethan is just. Oh uh, yeah, you fucked it up, and you oh, want me to. Oh right. So, give me a fucking well, slack. Actually, you know what? The good thing is, I can tell you right now. For me, it would not get in the nano out of nano out of ten club with this sour tumble. cream chew. <laughs> Not the tub club. That's my own little. Uh, that's my own little club. Can't get out of the tub club. Being out of the tub club. I wouldn't be putting it in with the sour cream and chive dip because I think it tastes like plastic. That dip. I, hundred percent agree. So it, I've the sour cream. It tastes like shit. Yeah, it's not real. It's Ethan? so fake and old. Um, I, I've never had this particular dip, so it would have been a really nice experience to have tried it. Instead, oh, sure. we've got the sweet chili dip, which is one, one yes. another one of their premium dips. So the the chicken slap, for those who don't know. 
It was Madonna's sort of real first attempt to to hit back at KFC, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you think they sort of body slammed the governor? What's it called? Is it called the governor? Body slammed the governor. The colonel. The colonel. Did you lever him? Yeah, uh, right, let's have a look. It's a nice bit of chicken, Ethan. Come around, leave it on the wide, get involved. Do they rival the uh, the KFC fillet? <laughs> no, well, I think what they're going up against is the, um, what's it Strips. called? Yeah. The, the gooch. K- no, the KFC, what's it called, Ethan, from KFC? The strip. The boneless. Mm. He's right. The strips. It's called the strips. Is it? Yeah, yeah, I know my KFC. Why don't you say that before? <laughs> is it better than the KFC strip? No, it's not. The chicken, if we're honest, is a bit dry in there. There's a certain like element of like clagginess to it. Yeah, it's not juicy, is it? There's no. Ju- you, if you squeeze that, if you squeeze a chicken select, it pisses down your arm. What? If you squeeze that, there's no no what juice. Are you, what are you doing there? <laughs> I'm what making, are you doing? I'm making a point about moisture. You're telling me. If you got a KFC strip and squeezed it like you just squeezed there, moisture would come out of it. Some. I would send that back. <laughs> Why? The moisture's not. What? Ketchup. What water are you ex- or moisture are you expect to, to pour out your not pour KFC out. gooches? Have you never had? Have you, have you, are you unaware of the concept of meat being moist? No, I get that. But right. I, if I was to pick up a strip now, even true or false, squeezed it and a bit of the liquid would come out. Um. I think. Would that be oil? Because it's quite oily. Oh, it would be oil. No, it Dirty wouldn't. oil. Crude oil, probably. It wouldn't. <laughs> anyway, for me, delicious. It is nice. It's above, you know, we're, we're talking positively about this food item. It tastes yeah. nice. It is fried chicken. You can't hate it. But it's not touching the 9 out of 10. Club, oh, is it? Ethan, I don't know. I think it's being tight there. You, you know what, Drew? When I get a McDonald's, my go to order would be. Five chicken selects, fries, smoke your barbecue dip, <laughs> a cheeseburger, probably a muck flurry. Put me on a lie down as well. And um, and a drink. Oh good. But I th- so I think this selects are probably. I don't know. How Did you mean it? What were you doing? Why were you reading Trump it? I was in a trance. What happened there, Ethan? What that felt weird? That what felt weird, Joe? Sorry. When you read out your order was like <laughs> you were reading it off a receipt. Well, what I'm saying is, I think this is probably one of McDonald's finest dishes. Mm. What you're saying here, Ethan, I think, if you don't put it in the 9 out of 10 club, is that you don't think any dish in McDonald's is 9 out of 10? Oh, yes, I guess you're right. Because if this is his order... This is his favourite. This is his bag, bo- bad boy order. Yeah. Oh, I stumbled there. He wants it in there, Ethan. Well, I t- to you. tell you what, I do love a quarter pounder with cheese. Wow. Okay. Our powder. Yeah. That would have been a good one, wouldn't have it? Right. That Can't is just one, keep though, is it? good ones. We've got the chicken selects here because Leanne Hellstrip wanted it. Is she actually called Strip oh in her God. name as well? Oh, my God. She's called Strip. No, wouldn't it be good if she was called Hell Select? No. <laughs> yeah, but I think, I mean, let's be honest. I think Hell Strip is as good as we're going to get. Yeah. Are, are they, for you, Ethan, are they Hell Strips or are they Heaven Strips? You know what? I do bloody love them. Go I'm going to put them in. Come back. What you I do. I, I know. I feel a bit dirty saying that. You've I not feel washed like, in a while, though, have you? Well, no. I mean, more so in like, oh, I'm, I'm sure there is probably better things out there, more night of 10 worthy. But sometimes about when you get a Mackey's, it's a bit of a treat. And you look forward to it, don't you? And it never, it's always consistent. I know it's packed with shit, but it, it just tastes but nice. All, but dude. Ethan, aren't we all packed with shit? Oh yeah, yes. I mean. that's what I'm saying. There's nothing yes. wrong with it. So for you, is it in? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna put it in. It's true. in for me. It. It's not in for Hellstrip. It's in. For Hellstrip, that means so it needs one more. You're the deciding vote. From the McGrath, magic fingers. What's she gonna say? I believe <laughs> the chicken select. He's saying it like he's Abraham Lincoln for some reason. Do you, and also, can I just say sometimes out of the chicken selects, sometimes there's one which is a little bit funky in their texture wise with mm. the chicken. I think that's to keep you on your toes. And that's why it's let it down and it's an eight oh, out. Oh, it's, it's not, not going It's in. not. It's not, but a good dipping sauce, you know, a good little dipping. It's delicious. So nearly, nearly, very nearly Leanne Hellstrip. Uh, congratulations, though, on having a boyfriend you can see seeing. Yeah. To an email. When we ordered from McDonald's, Joe. Yes. 
Something There's came up. There's a couple of trending items, isn't there? There's been a couple of trending items. First of all, new. we new. saw these on the menu. I've never tried any of these, and this is just a bonus. Bonus, bonus, 9 out of 10 club. Fat, fat bastard of We're going to have to go through these quickly. Jesus Christ. New items on the menu. We've what got the, the Lotus that? Biscoff McFlurry, and I would Ooh. like to say, 10. one of the Next. greatest glow-ups of any confectionery in the last 10 years. These used to be exclusively shit cafes giving you a free one on the side of a yeah, latte. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, it's one of the most popular flavours on the, on the high street. It is. And cause, it's because someone blended it. Yeah, they, they did. They made the, the, the spread. Well, did you hear the rumour about that? They didn't blend it. They chewed it up and spat it back out. Ooh, so like we've got some big boy in the corner of those uh, of the factory just doing that constantly. Oh, well, yeah. I don't mind that job. Nah, well, I bet you won't. <laughs> That's why I said it. Double Big Mac with bacon. That's oh, oh, and well, finally, and this one has... Ripped apart social media. Your bottom. The double chocolate pie. Now, I already know, I think two of these items are in the 9 out of 10 club. Okay, should we start with they're both the, desserts. Should we start with the one that can melt? Ethan, come over here, you little scumbag. Also, when did... I don't really have ice cream, as we know. Oh, classic. I don't like it. When did they abandon the square top spoon that uh, gets spun? When the, 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 the far left got involved. <laughs> The what, the low karate? <laughs> when the rug arrived, I don't know, it's probably something really nice. To... Oh, it's a good oh, job that spoon that we're all sharing, uh, he's not sort of deep-throated it for the audio listeners. So what would you Fuck want me to do, me. not eat any? Just sort of grab a little bit from the side. Ethan doesn't like eating from stuff that you've uh, already eaten from. I like it, I like And now you've just deep-throated that spoon for the audio listeners like I've never seen anything else. Do it right, come wow. on, see the pie. I already know this is 9 out of 10, I don't even fucking need to try it. <laughs> Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> Eat that, Ethan. Just Ethan. say it's 9 out of 10, mate. No, don't just say it's 9 out of 10. Have a bite. Oh, you need to have a bite, Ethan. Finger it if you have to. You must try it. Right, chocolate pie. This is the one I'm excited what, for. What's it called? Don't finger the ice cream. What? What the hell? What is it? No chocolate in it. What? Is it all floated to the bottom? Oh, yeah. Why have we started with dessert? Oh, yeah. I've bitten like a th half of that. Right, give and me three. I'm not doing chocolate. I don't care, Joe. It's always, always your. Right. It's not the nine out of ten Joe Club. Give it over here. Give me that chocolate bit. Yeah, I ain't even. Shove it up my ass. Oh I have, my can god. I, can I try a bit with chocolate in it? No. Thanks, Ethan. Sorry. You're gonna hate it. Okay. That's a bit shit, that in it. Try that. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Now we've got to go from really sweet stuff to a double Big Mac. I think we'll be fine. Look at this, by the way. Look, uh, at, the, look at how barely cooked this bacon is. Stop it, Ethan doesn't like your fingering stuff. Never yeah. mind doing that. Right, the desserts. Lotus Biscoff McFlurry. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Chocolate pie, nah. Get a little gimmick, decent, but not for me. Joe. I don't love ice cream, but that Lotus Biscoff McFlurry is delicious. Yeah, it's very good. Um. The problem I always see with McFlurry is problem. we've still got half of the ice cream left there and almost none of the topping, which is tricky. I think they need to do a more a better job of... Yeah, they're very tight, aren't they? But there's been cutbacks. It's the cost of living. Yeah, I'm sure one of the biggest corporations in the world are really struggling. Um, so for me, it doesn't get in on that basis. It, what? There is a 9 out of 10 bite in there, but the whole thing isn't 9 out of 10, and the average takes it below. Not good enough. Ethan, that Lotus Biscoff gets in. I think if Joe doesn't know how to stir an ice cream around, that oh, shouldn't make it. You're um, stirring well, it's quite yeah. difficult to stir an ice cream with a spoon that's made out of you cardboard. Um, I think they used to stir it for us. They've now stopped, and Joe will probably blame the cost of living because that's what he, it, is. it seems to be the reasoning for everything in Joe's life. Yeah. Joe shit his pants if they don't blame the cost of living. Didn't you? Uh, they're not, they closed all the public toilets down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's done it! He's found a way back to it! Um, it's close, but it's not in for me, the Lotus Biscoff. The chocolate pie... Do not um, shite. Literally, half of it didn't have any chocolate in. Mm. So that half is shit, and therefore it drags the whole thing down. Right, so that's not gone in, but the, the Lotus ice cream could potentially get in. Yeah. Ethan James. Without a shadow of a doubt, it's incredible. It is. It is, it is, it is really oh, good. Oh, it's in. And finally, should we take one bite of this? Double Big Mac. This is, this is the final awful. menu item. This is a double Big Mac with bacon. So it's got double the patty, double the fun. I can't even get oh my God. slop this around that. This is awful, this for the audio listeners. It's just, it's just a disgrace. Ooh. Joe's took his top off. The audio listeners, he's windmilling. Um, I don't really like a Big Mac, so I don't know how I'm gonna like double the meat. Hey, am I right, boys? 
No, he's better than a Big Mac. I was surprised by that. I do love me meat, though, don't I, Joe? And you say I've that now and again. That. I've always said that about you. My question now is, if it's better than the Big Mac, is the Big Mac 9 out of 10? Mm. No. Or is it 8? Or is it 7? And if it is, does it add any points onto it? Say me one final bite of that. Let's grab that and let's see. Yeah. It's, it's a nice burger, but I can't help but think the lack of cheese and a little bit more sauce couldn't elevate it a little bit more. Mm. The bacon does, let's be honest, nothing because it's just flappy bacon. Ethan, are you tasting the bacon in there? Um, to be honest, Drew, I deliberately avoided it. Why? Um, I like bacon. Big fan of bacon, but the Mackey's bacon, it just looked miserable and yeah. almost... I was afraid of it, so I just mm. let it stay there and dangle away. What other foods are you afraid of? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I'm afraid of licorice. That just freaks me out. I can't. I don't really understand what that is. Um, you should be afraid of some shellfish. They can cause death. Come here. Oh yes. Um. St- st- look out for that. That Big Mac ain't getting in, is it? No. Let's just cut to the shit. Right, so what is getting in then? The Biscoff ice cream mm-hmm. incorrectly got in. No, no, no. It did, it's not, not incorrect, is it? The double Big Mac with bacon did yeah. not get in. No, yeah. And the chocolate pie did not get in. Right then, I know we've done Mackies, but we, we had to Mackey's try big. the new items. And I think we'll make it a thing that if there's a new item on the menu, Joe. We've got to go for it. We'll dive in. So that's the end of the 9 out of 10 club. A lot yeah. to pack in there. Yeah, too much. But we had to go through the new menu items, like I said. Let's move on now to Joe vs. Joe. Dun, and dun, dun, dun. it's an incredible lead for Smith. 4-1. 4-1 on the day. First now, to seven. The, can I ask you about the forfeit? One of the most liked uh, comments was that whoever loses has to be on hand and foot for Ethan James for 24 hours. I love this idea. So we have to do everything for him. Because Ethan James can look after himself, we know that. Yeah, but there are really? ta- well, this is what I'm saying. There are times, and Ethan will admit this, where a weekend, a Saturday, the big day of the week, yeah. will pass him by and he sort of can't really do anything with it. He doesn't no. know what to do, he can't get his, he can't get to grips with it, he can't get his hands on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think with a, a sort of a perm a twenty four seven man slave, like we would be. I wouldn't do anything. I sexual. think it will make his life better. It's whatever he asks. What? You've just got to hope he doesn't. Ethan, if I was your slave, would you ask me to do something sexual? Well, maybe not you. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the rare occurrence where he makes himself laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're suggesting there so is you would, <laughs> you'd ask Joe, <laughs> your actual boss, to somehow Cut to your please camera, you. Cut to your camera. In a way, you stop, stop doing this thing where you laugh Cut and to your you camera, turn Ethan. Turn your camera off. Ethan, I command you as your sex slave. No, no, no. <laughs> Cut to your camera. <laughs> so, basically, Ethan can do what he wants with us. I'd arrange a great day for him if I was his uh, slave for the day. Yeah. You know, proper, like, good day out, no. loads of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You do all that, but I know that deep down he's a, he's a vindictive little prick. And you'd be, oh, I've got tickets to Legoland. I've got you this, I've got your little oh. suit, like I stole it from a ventriloquist dummy or whatever, that you, you know, we've we're, we're gonna go out together. Yeah, get him like a suit, dress up nice, we'll go out. You'll have a full day and he'll just go, make us a sugar cube pyramid 40 feet high. <laughs> you can't go home till it's done. Oh, white or brown sugar? <laughs> whatever. One white, then one brown. And it, if there's two in a row, same color, you start again. Really? Yeah. So you'll have a big day for him and he'll just fuck so you about. Essentially, my, if, whoever loses now has to make a sugar pyramid. Well, we'll see what he demands. But that's <laughs> the sort of thing he's up for. Anyway, I've come back from worse, you know. I've come back from four something down. It was four short. one down last time. Right then, are this we is... going to get game on? Ethan James, take it away. Joe well, versus Joe. Yes, it's quite a big deficit, isn't it? But let's see if Drew can turn it around in... The round of McDonald's. Oh, oh he's good in here. The old he's producing got, that's lad. That's the thing with him. He can produce. He could produce what? I don't know. The back legs of a horse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's, 
<laughs> right, what do you mean McDonald's? Like the, the guy on the farm or? Oh yeah, it's not old McDonald's, is it? Ah, well, you or see, good question. But it's actually the most popular McDonald's, the fast food restaurant. Oh. oh. Was he Trevor McDonald? Sir oh. Trevor. Sir Trevor. Yes, news Questions on Sir Trevor, ready. Just so you know. Uh, so Jimmy, uh, Mo- Moriarty, what a Ooh, lovely name. Wow. Is that the guy from Sherlock, the bad guy? Big time. Um, so he's he wrote in, and he says, um, Hi, Drew and Ethan. I thought McDonald's would be an interesting topic for Drew versus Joe uh, due to the affinity of you lot um, have to McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Um, hope it works. So that makes sense after today, doesn't it? It does, Ethan. Congratulations. Couldn't have gone better for you, this. Um, question one. Oh, we're going straight in, yeah, no messing about. Well... There's no need to. What a no need to stand on ceremony or lube you up before you shag you, as they say. Oof, God, Ethan, that was what, weird. Quote what's from gone, you. What's what's happened to you the last? He's getting minutes? prepared for you to be his slave. Something about a chicken select. Do you often use chicken selects as foreplay or something? And and this is a kind of Pavlovian response. Yeah, yeah, that's because uh, all of a sudden chive dip is yeah. different in Ethan's household. He eats a chicken select, and all of a sudden we're just we're just meat mm. to him. Oh, we? <laughs> Double Am pounder. I, He's a, he'll double pound you. Love that. Up the bump. Yeah, we got it. Fuck it, man. No. Go on, then, Heath. I might um, timestamp that bit out, actually, because it was rather out of character for me to say something that kind of um, sexually no, you aggressive. You can't timestamp it out. Right, go for it. All right. Um, question one on McDonald's. Um, the question is, what were the names of the brothers who oh, opened God. the first McDonald's? Um, he suggests I can... Give a point for one right answer and two for both. Oh, I'm just taking guesses at men's names. Yep, that makes yeah. sense. Good logic. I'll give you actually ten seconds because I'm we're, feeling generous. We're done. We're done. Yeah, oh, ten seconds is good though. We might as well enjoy just this. first name. Might as well enjoy this time. Yes, just just the first name. Uh, how about we're doing name each? Joe Smith, <coughs> your name first. <coughs> uh, Ronald. Okay, thank you, McGrath. I've also got Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been Smith again. John. And I've got Jim. Have you actually? Yes, sir. Jim and Jim and Ronald. What? Got a, what Ronald's got to be one of them. The answers are Richard oh, and Morris. Morris McDonald. Wow. Great fun, this. Right, next one, next one. Come on, roll, roll, roll. So that's Where's good, Ronald isn't it? come from then? He must be the dad. He's always the clown. No, we have. What the fuck is clown? Nice. Uh, question two. Yeah. Where was the first McDonald's restaurant located? Right, the city or about? the state will work, please. <sighs> Jesus, that's tricky. I'm trying to think of like the headquarters. <clears throat> mm. Oh, God. I'm alarm, gonna go alarm. I'm gonna go for... oh, that was quick. Hello, the state. Alarm. Can you go for the state? City you, or state, said. State, city or state. What are you going for? Texas. Oof. <laughs> I've got uh, Kentucky. Oh. The answer is California. Oh. Kentucky's not. the other key, sir. No, but I thought it might be one of them things. You know, it's like. Oh, they're actually both from Kentucky. Kentucky like, yeah, because may, maybe Kentucky boy saw a, uh, a McDonald's once. Thought, it maybe I think it's a flap in the market. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, really. I think you were getting confused with Drew, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, which mm. is famously from Kentucky. Nice. Um, just, a two, just a two minutes on it. Next question, question three. Um, what year was McDonald's founded? Uh, I'm going to shit my hands and clap in a minute. These are well hard. Are you going to give us any, like, leeway? Um, the closest wins, perhaps. Well, we'll have to wait and see for that. What do you mean? Surely you have to establish that before the answers are given. We'll see if we get to that stage. Uh, I meant for this question, but that's obviously not the case. Oh, uh, sorry, Drew. <laughs> I understand the question now. I will take... If either of you get it correct within a time span of five years... I will give you the answer. Okay. What have you gone for then? I've gone for 1972. Oh, I've gone for 1970. Oh. We get it bang on. What's someone get it bang on? Well, it's 1940, sir. So never mind. What? Uh, 1940. 1940. But the problem with this is the problem with this all origin of McDonald's thing 
Have you ever seen the film The Founder? Yeah, I thought that doesn't seem like the fall. No, but it's not. It's because McDonald's, the brand, the 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 burger place owned by these two. Is it obviously Ronald from the 40s, but the concept of the fast food chain McDonald's that we know today only came around much oh, later right. on. Ask us that again then. Um, no. Um, so this question up coming up number four, I think Drew Smith has mentioned this on a podcast previously. Oh, I hate that because I know I'm not going to get it. So we'll see if you get it. I might be wrong. Um, according to McDonald's, how many different shapes do the McDonald's chicken, nug- chicken nuggets come in? And... Um, you get an extra point for naming the shapes. Oh, fuck off. Naming the shapes. So you just need to give me the number, and that's the point, but if you name all four of the shapes, I give you a cheeky bonus, yeah? Oh, that's not right! That's that, not that right! That is right, that's the you laws. Need to know all four of the shapes! For a bonus point. But you can, if this you get. This is going to be him winning now because you and your bonus point. Oh, it's going to be him winning because he knows the answer to the question and I don't. That's what a quiz no, he's is, just mate. just on bonus points out of nowhere. Well, we all know how many shapes there are. I don't think you do. I do. I know how many shapes there are. I just don't know what they're all fucking called. They're like the Powerpuff Girls. Alarm, like alarm. Alarm, alarm. Um, McGrath. Is there four? Okay, Smith. Four. Both of you get a point. Can any of you name all four? No. Nope. I've got four things written down, but I'm only I'm certain of three. I'm and, certain of yep. ball, bell, and bone. And and as of this stage, Joe, you are correct. I need all four, my friend. And for the fourth one, I know it's another B. They're all Bs, aren't they? Banana. I've um, got bat on. Yes. No, no. Uh, no, I've said what, that. I, what's he's the question? Just... I, I've got. I've already written it down. What Ethan, I've, it, it? I've gone bow. Or bow tie. Like, so can you repeat them again, Drew? Ball, bell, bone, bow. <sighs> no, I swear. Bow tie. I swear. What right. is it? What is it, Ethan? So it's bell, ball, boot, and then bone slash bow. We didn't is... get boot, did he? Well, there's five then. Yeah. You said we needed to get four. No, but there's four, but he, the, the, the right, quiz states, the on, quiz states that right. it's a bone or a bow, which falls into the same category. Okay, so I got four. There are four words written, but there's actually five words, and I didn't get all five. Right, let's go. Fortunate. So I've got one point. That's very harsh, I agree. But that's the alarm, nature alarm. of Joe versus Joe. Alarm, alarm. Alarm, alarm. I'm talking too much. Question five. In 2012, such a bad loser. In 2012, how much money in U.S. dollars, please, did a chicken nugget supposedly shaped like George Washington sell for on eBay? The closest takes it. Oh really? The closest takes it. Shaped like who? Um, shaped like George Washington. The OG. He's the OG in Washington. Would have been the OG. Like first president, isn't he? Oh yeah, yeah. And is it- See, the problem with eBay is you can put a bid in for 10 billion quid. The item ends, everyone writes their articles, and they just don't pay it. True. So this could be, what is it worth, or what has someone jokingly oh. put down? We don't know if they actually got this money, do we? Could be- it's, Alarm, it's, alarm! It's, sell, it's sold for this amount, and yes, Drew is correct, it is alarm, alarm. <laughs> uh, can I have the answers, please? Yeah, I've got You them. go first. 22,000. Oh, I've gone 40. There's a winner. Always is. So it's one all at the minute, isn't it? Yes. This takes it. Whoever gets this takes it. If I go five one up, Joe. And um, I forgot your answers. What did you say? Twenty two thousand. Forty. Oh yes. The answer's eight thousand one hundred. So Smith takes it. That'll be a five one lead, Joe. Can I just say? Who wrote them questions? (laughs) Who wrote them questions? Someone Um, with you in mind. They were shit. You was review Jimmy. takeaways for a living. Yeah, I don't re- review ones that shape like George Washington. You should have known ball, bell, bone, and boot. You should have known Why? that. Why? You didn't know it. Yeah, but I don't eat food for a living. I don't eat, I don't eat nuggets for a living. Well, you should do. Well, you should do. That's right, five one on this the whole. Is, You've got to, come, to do I'll a lot to come, come back, back to get seven. I'll have to come back better. Be back. Be stronger. And on that note. Right then. 
Remember, no Friday episodes now for a couple of weeks, but they'll yeah. be back. Do not worry, because these guys are gallivanting around the US. And I'll be there with them as well for a bit. Yeah. Uh, but then we're back, bebe. Bebe. Oh, God. Uh, so Friday episodes will take a little bit of a pause. Yeah. So what should they do on Fridays instead, What Joe? should they do on Fridays instead is watch this episode again. Oh, my God. No, actually, what they should do is they should check out the Patreon, because in place of the Friday episodes, there will be Patreon videos yeah. from our time in America. Yeah. So if you're missing out, you think, oh, I love the Friday episode, join the Patreon. Sloppy Joe's, uh, well, patreon.com forward slash Sloppy Joe's. Check yeah. us out there. You get those videos and yeah. all the previous videos we've ever done yeah. will be available to you there. So check them out. Yeah, and or oh, reverse this episode and see if there's any hidden, like, yeah, messages. Bye bye. Bye. What have you think? Oh, um, yes, and please like and subscribe. Ta ra. <laughs>